back in the kitchen. Wednesday night, have three classes coming up. I'm going to prep some food in one container, the metal pot. All right, so this is what I like to call my cleaning out the fridge. I go through and I have whatever I'm going to cook, I'm gonna put it all together, vegetable-wise. So I have pepper, I was almost gonna say tomato, but it's a pepper, jalapeno pepper, because we always have jalapeno peppers here, a white onion, let's see what else is in the fridge. All right, so I'm gonna work with ground turkey, so that's gonna be the base. I'm gonna grab an egg. Ooh, I got some portobello mushrooms that are ready to go somewhere. And I have zucchini, so I'm gonna shred some zucchini in this. I'm not gonna really give, like this is just my leftovers and what I'm gonna be cooking. So I'm gonna make like a turkey loaf. All right, so we start with the turkey. I buy the two pack from Costco. I'm being honest, I don't really food shop at a grocery store. Costco is my grocery store along with um, a produce store and a little farm market. So I'm gonna take my jalapeno and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, can you see this? Here we go. I'm just gonna like take out the seeds. I'll use this as my garbage. Take out the seeds and I'm gonna dice this up. Can't see them, but my puppy's here smelling all the good stuff. Oh no. You guys, I just love to cook. I love experimenting with food. So once you learn the flavors of foods that you like, it's pretty easy to just start combining foods. And then if you like it, you cook it again. If you don't like it, it's not a big deal. All right, so I got jalapenos is something that we like. So that pretty much goes in a lot of our dishes. You gotta like some heat. We definitely like some heat. All right, so I'm just throwing everything in. So here's some of my jalapeno. So good. This will probably take me, I don't know, we'll see, maybe 10 minutes to prep. And then it's gonna take about 45 minutes at 400 to cook. And I'll probably cook it, put it in the oven right before my last class. I'm teaching three online courses tonight. That's the best thing about online courses. You can prep your food, your dinner will cook while you teach, and when you're done teaching, you have dinner. How great is that? All right, so here we go. Red pepper. So I'm hitting the food store tomorrow, so I like to kind of clean out my fridge. I'm lucky in the fact that my husband is pretty easy to cook for. He just likes good food. Well, I mean, who doesn't like good food? We like to eat. I already made a big salad. You've seen the video. I'll probably do another one because that was a big salad I made for to bring to a fam my house, my family's house. And I kind of eliminated some of the ingredients because the kids don't really like cabbage and all that other stuff. So I cut it. Wherever I'm going, I try to keep it geared towards what people like but i will show you my version of the salad that we eat here because it's fully loaded with good stuff okay i'm just gonna dice up about a half of a white onion and i love onions the staple honestly is i love garlic and onions sauteing is there anything that smells better than that i don't think so I mean, there is, but that's a really good smell. Sauteed garlic and onions, ugh. You don't even have to put anything in it and you walk in a house with that and you're like, man, that's good. All right, no tears. If you were, uh-oh, tears may be coming. My last video had a little tears with the onions, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. All right, so I'm portobello mushrooms. I have three left and I'll probably use two because they're pretty big. Got the stem. Oh no, I, I definitely have a little waterworks coming. I can feel it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my tears for you. All right, let's dice these bad boys up. So good. Now, I, look, under five minutes so far. My goal is to have food prep under ten minutes. Oh no, here are the tears come. I feel them. Yep. 
eyes are watering. There you go. Hold on a second. What can I say? You guys bring out the emotions in me. <laughs> Wait, so I got one portobello mushroom going. I'm going to add another. Look at me. Look at this. I just love vegetables. So great. And then I have this nice zucchini and I'm just feeling like I really want to shred the zucchini. I don't know why. All right, so if this video makes it live, you know it was a good meal. <laughs> if I archive this, I'll tell you, it'll be on my bloopers. But so far, these recipes haven't failed me. So I have a zucchini. Do I have a shredder in here? Gotta be a shredder somewhere. Aha, got a little shredder. All right. I'm just gonna shred a little zucchini. I know, grab the big one, but this will do. Fresh veggies are coming soon. I can't be the only one that's excited about that. What I love about these videos, like tonight, I didn't feel like doing a video or cooking or any of that because I've been working all day, taking classes. But here's the thing that I realized, and this is something I learned a long time ago. Even when I don't feel like showing up, if I don't show up, I'm gonna be really mad at myself. And the pain of not showing up is gonna be worse than the pain of just coming and showing up. Does that happen to you? The best advice I can give myself is to just keep showing up. It does get easier and you do get more comfortable in anything that you're doing now. I know, it's so pretty. I'm gonna do just a little bit more because I don't want it to be so moist. I'm only adding one egg. I'm gonna add a little panko here, uh, organic panko from the health food store. Me in the health food store. I love that health food store. All right, so we got a little of zucchini. I'm gonna add an egg. Oh, I gotta spray my can. Let me, hold on. Let me get my spray. I'm gonna do a little avocado oil in my pan. Yeah, this pan is so old, but I love it. Do you have that, like you, your favorite thing to cook with? Oops. All right, so let's open this up. I don't know. I'm just gonna add a little, I, I don't like a lot, but a little bit of substance. All right, now, roll up your sleeves. This is where we're going in. Let's get in there and mix it all up. So pretty. There's just so many great colors. And there's so much flavor in this. Again, there's only two people that eat here, but I like to cook a lot because I'll eat it the next day for lunch. And then sometimes we'll have it for dinner. I honestly don't mind leftovers. Sometimes the more the food sits, the better the flavor. This isn't one of those <laughs> dishes, but there are the, you know those dishes that you let sit overnight. Oh, they're so good. I don't know, I guess I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so I have this mixed. Again, this rest, under 10, we're doing under 10 minutes. That's my goal. <laughs> my podcasts are under 10 minutes. My food prep is under 10 minutes. I'm sensing a theme, are you? Let me know what you'd like to see more of in the comments. My, my goal is to keep things simple because <laughs> we get lost, we meaning me. And when I say we, I'm always referring to myself. You included, of course. But we get lost in complicating things. Like eating healthy doesn't have to be complicated. Exercise doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need hours at the gym. I put out half hour videos. I'm really into only working out strength training for a half hour. Uh, I love doing the bike and the rower and walking, but my strength has been a half hour. All right, so here you have it. I love this, but you know what's calling me? A little smoke paprika on top of this. So I'm gonna wash my hands and add that. I like to do everything organically. So if a thought comes up, that's what I go with. And then I tweak it if I have to. So smoked paprika came to mind. 
because why not? All right. There you have it. Ground turkey with a little bit of everything that was in my fridge. I'm gonna cook it later on, 400 for 45 minutes. I might add potatoes depending on what time I get done, but you can eat it like this with a big salad, potatoes, whatever you want. Just keep it simple and keep it healthy. Let me know again what you'd like to see more of in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. I'll catch you later.